the first clinical anatomy is the fracture of clavicle and uh, the fracture mainly occurs between the two curvatures of the clavicle because this is the weakest point that is present between the two curvatures so whenever the fracture occurs the lateral part lateral part is pushed downwards and the medial part is pushed upwards because we can see here the lateral part is connected to deltoid muscle and it is connected to upper limb so the weight of upper limb um, due to the weight of upper limb the lateral part is pushed down and this is the uh, trapezius muscle uh, which is able to uh, keep this bone in place um, whereas uh, the medial part is pushed up due to sternocleidomastoid muscle in the next condition this is called as cleidocranial dysostosis in which there is congenital absence of the clavicle so that the shoulders will droop and can be approximated anteriorly so we can see in the x-ray there is no clavicle and uh, scapulas are uh, uh, can be approximated anteriorly and uh, we can see this picture here okay this is the cleidocranial dysostosis